Howdy folks. I've really been enjoying showing off uh, Railroader to you guys. And a lot of you have asked on the streams and, and uh, videos, you know, what all whistles come with this? So I wanted to make a quick video. It's not gonna be very long. I'm just gonna go through all the whistles and, you know, give a couple toots so you can hear what they sound like. And also some of the models change as well when you change it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through those. And then we're also gonna take a quick look at uh, the Jeep 9, which is down the track there. So let's go for whistles. So if you control click on the car or you click over here, you'll get the inspection window up. You want to go over to equipment and then customize. This is how you customize any aspect of a car, loco, whatever. And for the steam locomotives, we can change the reporting marks, the road number, and then you can select from the whistles. Now I believe anytime you spawn in a locomotive, it starts out with this, uh, the, uh, the step top five chime, Durango and Rio Grande. So that's the default whistle. I got a lot of comments on the Loco Showcase. Hey, the whistles all sound the same. Yeah, I think it just spawns in with these by default, at least in the build here in pre-release. I don't know where that'll end up in the final build. You know, even it might even be different on uh, early access release on December 15th. We shall see. The whole game is a work in progress. So, yeah. So each whistle has two notes. You can do a high and a low note, basically. So that is the default that you heard in the Loco Showcase. And I'm just going to go down through the line here and give a little toot. You can see in this case the model actually changed on the Loco. I don't know how accurate these are. I'm not a, not a train guy. I mean, I like trains, but I'm not a train nerd. <laughs> Ooh, that one's got some gusto. says low we're gonna go low low got a little shorter whistle on there and okay, we got the uh is that the chicago and northwestern maybe five chime cnw There you go. It sounded pretty similar to that one. Uh, C of G five chime. I don't know what C of G is. Somebody will know. There we go. And that has the same model. Not, not every single one has a different model, but there are some different models. All right, custom flat top five chime. Ico long bell three chime. Back to that whistle model. Ooh, I, I don't know much about trains, but that one sounds pretty cool. It sounds like it should be on a great big locomotive. We got a Nathan five chime. All righty. Keep on scrolling down here. We got a Nathan six chime. Well, that one's interesting. You can really hear that extra note in there. And it is hard to make a whistle. I can tell you that much. Some of you guys have heard me talking on streams and videos about my dad doing steam. He made some of his own steam traction motors and he, he handmade some whistles. And it takes a lot to get, you know, just the slightest little change in angle and the size of the opening and the diameter. It, there's a lot of, like, science and work to it. 
So even individual whistles, you know, just a little bit of change in the manufacturing process could make it sound slightly different. Okay, we got the Sioux Long Bell 3 chime. There we go, we got a different model for that one. Mm, another deep one. Very nice. On down through here, we got more C of G. We got a six chime. And then we got the, it looks like the low version of that. C of G six chime low. A little deeper note. And oh, we got the saddle tank one chime. This one sounds so sad. Sounds kind of plaintive and sad. <laughs> it's just a little, just a little saddle tank. We got the VT one chime. Very similar. We have a uh, saddle tank one chime low. We got a GCE step top five chime. That was a screamer. NKP step top five chime. It's a nickel plate, isn't it? Uh, CP step top five chime. Got a lot of step top five chimes. That must have been pretty popular. All right, getting north, down towards the end here. We got a CN step top five chime. Is that the Canadian Northern or is that something else? Cincinnati Northern. There we go. I think I talked over a little bit of that first one. Uh, we got the NYC five chime next to last. That's kind of an interesting, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a, a rushing sound or something. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, then last but not least, we've got a WM3 chime. Is that the Western Maryland, maybe? Oh, it's another deep one. That needs a big old locomotive. So there you go. That is what is in the build as of December 3rd, pre-release version before early access. There's a lot of whistles to choose from and you can just put whatever you like on there. So that's the whistles. Let's go take a quick look at the Jeep 9. I was wondering, uh, somebody had asked if there was horn customizations. I didn't actually know. It looks like there's not. So if we go to customize uh, for the diesels and it's the same of the SW1. Uh, this is what you can change. You can change reporting marks, road number, of course. And then on the diesels, you can actually pick a base color. So let's go with a nice black. And then we have a lettering color. You can set this you know, to whatever you want. It can be as ridiculous or as realistic <laughs> as you want. And then it says text. I don't know where this text goes. Oh, there it is. It shows up when you leave the text box. Cool. So yeah, you can customize that. You can you can have it hot pink and neon yellow. 
Oh boy. I I would just like to formally apologize for uh, putting that in your eyeballs. That's my bad. Apply. Thank you. <laughs> so the materials on the diesels are not the best in my opinion, especially when you get into some of the brighter colors. But you know, it's all subject to change. That flat black doesn't actually look too bad. That looks pretty nice. Uh, but there is no horn customization, unfortunately, for these. It is what it is. Oh wait, I need to uh, select this guy. There we go. Now there is a little bit of a tone change. We do have a high and low. Can we quill the horn? Yeah. All right. There you go. That's a little bit of a uh, whistle and horn overview for y'all. Can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this on the 15th. Thanks for watching and take care.